Hi everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Heart of Gold. And it sounds just like this. Alright, for this part I'm going to break down for you the intro of the song. We're playing in the key of E minor. And for the chords, we're starting with E minor. Playing it on its first inversion. So we have octave E on the left. And for the right hand we have G, B, E. Then we're going to play D major. That's octave D, and right hand A, D, and F sharp. And then for the second part of the intro, we're only going to use the left for the chord, and we're back on E minor with E, B, and E. Then we have C major with C, G, C. Moving up to D major, playing D, A, D. And finally, we have G, playing G, D, and G. Okay, let's start the intro. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the first riff we're going to use. It goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm starting with an arpeggio on my left. Counting in eighth notes, so one and two, like this. And when playing the tap note, so E, B, E, I'm going to also play E minor on my right hand, so G, B, E, so one and two, okay, and then from here I'm going to replay E minor on every eighth note, one and two and three and four and, so for the entire measure, again, one and two and three and four and, then we have this, one and two so here, I played D on the first beat, then replayed the notes on my right hand on the second beat, and on the end of the second beat, I went back to E minor, with octave E on the left. One and two and three and four and. And then here, I'm going to end the riff with this movement on the left, that's A, B, D, and then E. So, one and two and three and four and. So on the end of the third beat, that's when I'm going to start this melody line. One and two and three and four and. And I'm landing on D on the fourth beat. And four. Okay, once again from the top, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then from here simply repeat, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's the first part of the intro. Let's replay it. Two. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
Okay, now we have the second part of the intro. Let's take a look at the pattern we're going to use on the left. It goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm simply playing E, B, E then C, G, C, D, A, D, G, D, G. So I'm moving from E minor to C major to D major and then G major. And coming after playing G, I'm going to play the same movement but backwards. So I'm going to start with the tap note, then D, and after that G. So that's what we're going to do over G. Okay, again, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. Then repeat. Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one. Okay, now for the right hand, I'm going to use three different melody lines. The first one sounds like this. So I played G with B, starting on the second beat. Then I went up on B and D. Then from here, I'm going to go down, playing A and C followed by G and B. Then I'm going to go back up on A and C. Then I'm going to finish the first melody line with G, B, and finally D and G. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time with the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the first melody line. Here's the second one. Now I'm playing B and D, followed by D and G, then this, that's C and E, B, D, back to C and E, and then to finish I'm going to play B, D, and then G and B. And once again we're starting on the second beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now let's play the third and last melody line for the intro. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm starting once again on the second beat with G and B. Then I'm going to play three times. One, two, like this. And then I'm going to play B and D six times. It will go like this. One, two, three, four, one. And then I'm going to land on A and C on the first beat of the next measure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
4. And then to finish the melody line, I'm going to replay G and B, and then D and G. So again, we're playing G and B three times. One, two, three, and then B and D six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Then we have A and C. Now let's play it again with the left. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to finish the intro, we have this. So we're going to reuse the first pattern we used starting the intro. So E minor, D, back to E minor. Okay, let's replay the entire intro slow tempo. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, let's replay the entire intro at full speed. That's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.